Barbershop Sneak Sneak Shop, the bestest and the newest haircutters in the world. Just ask some of our customers. I see you in Bergenstiebe. Ah! I see you in the Barbershop Sneak Sneak Shop. Ah! Only real men can make money off of their hair. Not you. You are no man. You go out and sit down as yours and say, Molek man haircut, but pathetic. Only artists can make money off of their hair, like myself. That money belongs to me. Well, that's dumb. Why would anybody want to go there? A few moments later. Bullet man, bullet man. What's wrong, Timmy? Johnny's on the floor. What happened? Something too terrible to speak. <laughs> Dear stupid man, it is I, the Papa. I am writing to inform you that everything you hold dear to you is in danger, including your precious little epiphone money and sunglasses. So good luck finding me, mullet girl. <laughs> Zibaba. Everyone out! This just got personal. As soon as I heard what happened, I came over here, rushed over, make sure you're okay. Mono, thank God you're here. I was worried that the barber got to you. Oh, me, me too. Uh, who else was there? Well, Jimmy, of course. Everyone saw that, but I haven't heard from Vernon in a while. Say goodbye, my friend. I've had just a little song. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. I have no idea what happened to him. Uh, well, don't worry, I'm here now. Uh, well, we need to find out who this barber is. Uh, I got this pocket phone book uh, any smart person carries around. I'll be yeah. able to find out who he is in there. Yeah, go for it, I'll, I'll call the cops. Would you two shut up? Hello? Uh, yeah, hi, this is uh, Mullet Man. Mullet Man, wow. Wait till I tell my son who I talk to today at work. He will just lose it. Anyway, what seems to be the problem, Mr. Man? Well, there's this guy. He calls himself the barber. He shaved poor Johnny's head last night without his consent, and it also looked like he was holding hostages in the commercial. I thought if anyone knew about it, it'd be you guys. Well, that's a new one. 
We haven't heard of anything like that today. He sounds like a real bad guy. Though I wouldn't go after him. Especially with all the stuff you'd put at risk. Um, I haven't said anything about what was stolen from me yet. Oh, uh, sorry. Us cops just kind of got a second sense for what goes down at the scene of a crime. You know what I'm saying? Just last week someone called in and he didn't even have to say anything. I just knew the guy was dead. When I got to the scene, what do you know? Dead guy was laying next to the phone. I told the chief and we all had a big laugh over it. Oh, oh, okay. But yeah, I've got nothing on anyone called the barber kid. Sorry about your luck. Well, aren't you gonna file a report or something? He hung up on me, can you believe that? What a dumb heck! I know, right? Um, did you find anything else? Uh, yeah, actually, in the, uh, smart person phone book, I found an ad for the barber sick, shop. Sick, sick, did you find anything else? Uh, I don't know, it's a pretty far ride away, and it's gonna be a pretty bad road to get there. I don't know if we really need to, if really want to. You know, Motto, that's a chance we'll have to take. This small man. It's gonna be a dangerous road here. Can't you just live here in your basement with your five guitars and your sunglasses that you already have? Motto, you have no idea how hot that guitar is. Okay, this, I'm doing this for all the people who have six guitars, or seven, or even thousands of guitars. I'm doing this for the people with long hair who always tell them that they should get a haircut. I'm doing it for them. that you had something urgent to tell me. Yes, sir. Bullet Man Ant has taken action, and our sources tell us that he is on his way into our trap. Good. When he gets here, he will have no idea what he is up against. It is also important to know, sir, that Bullet Man has tried to inform the authorities, but that has gone nowhere. Good, good. Everything has gone into our plan. Soon the mullet man will be dead and our lives will be back in order. Ever since mullet man brought back the mullet, no one has been getting their hair cut as much. Oh yeah, I know, but my son has done nothing but play that hacking record. Don't worry, it will be over soon. Once the mullet man meets his new life six feet underground. <laughs> Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like a breeze, country road. Take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama. Take me home, country roads. You know, what a great friggin' song. Yeah, that song gets me right in the feels, man. Uh, my mom used to sleep, sing it to me while I fell asleep. I think it made it me into the man I am today. You know, Mato, that's that's really freaking great. You know, a lot of people call you a communist or anything, but like, you're one of the best people I've ever met. And I wouldn't ask for anyone else to be in this situation with me. Thanks, man. That means a lot. You know, a lot of people seem to step on me, but you're a great dude. I'm glad you're my friend, Walt Man. Of course, buddy. We're here.
God. Mullet man, this is out of our control. We gotta call the cops. He just made fun of Tom Petty. This guy's dead. Jesus, this place looks like it's been abandoned for 50 years. Yeah, you're right. I don't think anyone is here. I'm getting a phone call. Well, well, well. If it isn't the mullet girl and his friend Red Scare, I'm glad to see that you have fallen onto my trap. Soon the world will forget about the mullet man and the mullet. You have lied to the world for long enough. Soon everyone will have a nice, clean cut. The world will have no more filthy mullets like you have. So goodbye, mullet girl, and see you in hell. Oh my god. I hear that you are one of the greatest guitar players in the human realm. Aw, oh, shucks. Silence, mortal. I am Lucifer and I challenge you to a guitar battle. If I win, I own your soul. <laughs> what is that? What? Bro, oh, it's a Fender's wire. Did your mom get that guitar for you? No, actually yours did, thank you very much. And what if I win? You know, what happens then? What do I get? You know what I want? I want a Gibson SG-1964, okay? Okay, great. Let's start this. Let's get our guitar in prep. All right, let the guitar battle begin. Start. Don't you think, Motto? Motto? Motto! Motto! What happened? Uh, the solo was too hot. I tried to 
tried to hold the amp for as long as I could, but my arms caught on fire and one melted. Madam! The barber started this. You have to find him and end this. It's been an honor moment, man. Madam, no! Madam! And then there's something on my left leg. The mullet man is dead! <laughs> you never killed the mullet man. Oh, a stupid Frenchman that isn't afraid of a fight! Poor man, you do not understand the circumstances. I have one, and the mullet man has walked into my trap. And because of my friend Satan, he is a dead man. <laughs> ah, but it is no use. I have one. Ah! Hello! Ah, my friend. Tell me the good news. Yes, tell me how the mullet man has fallen dead on the ground. Mallow is dead. Ah, yes, yes. On the mullet man. He defeated Satan. What? What the heck? How did he beat the devil? Lucifer challenged him to a guitar battle. How stupid can you be? Ha! You suck! <laughs> what did you say to me? You said... I have been told all of my life what I am, and I am tired of it. That mullet man will die by my own hands. I will send one of you to go and get him. And bring him to me, so I can kill him. I should come in. You! Your new name shall be French Fry. Now listen very carefully, French Fry. I want you to take this letter and deliver it to the mullet man and tell him that he must read it. Now go! Fun! Man, I have now killed your friend. If you keep coming to find me, 
Marvel begin to die. Just look at yourself. Is it worth losing more? Except that the mullet is dead. Put yourself into exile and never return and all of this will end. The only other way for this to end is if you come and kill. That mullet is dug so far into that scalp of yours that you can no longer hear. Well, hey there, barber. You know, I thought you would have been much uh, shorter in person, but I guess what's on the inside doesn't show on the outside. You are right, mullet man. I see many people in this world, but there are none as ugly as you. Why are you so set on destroying me? I guess that I am just crazy like that. <laughs> you will face the consequences for your actions. I just called the cops and they are on their way here right now. Well, the least that I can do is leave them a clean cut gentleman. You have tormented my friends for long enough. You are going to be put away for a long time. That's what you think, Mullet Girl. Well, there's your ride. I hope that you remember <laughs> that I'm still out here, free and safe when you're in there. <laughs> Get on the ground, mullet man. Whoa, 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 pop! It's the barber! Get down. What do you mean? I know who he is. We've been planning to kill you for quite some time now. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> How can you do this? What, did he offer you a free haircut? No, he offered to bring my world back to normal. You have made my life horrible. I am a single dad, my divorced wife left me two years ago, and I only get to see my son once every month. Do you know how difficult it is for a man to see his only son once a month? It screws you up. When I do end up seeing him, all he does is sit in his room and yell at me. And when I ask him what he's doing, he's listening to your album. He says it's the best gift the world could ever give to humanity. Apparently a father isn't enough anymore. I'm sorry that your son likes my album, but maybe you should do the right thing once in a while, and killing me is not the right thing to do! It's the only thing to do. Maybe once you're dead, he'll actually start appreciating me. How is that Moritz girl doing? Just as annoying as he was a minute ago. Oh, what a shame. Well, Moritz man, I have waited a very long time for this. I bet it's about the only thing you get to look forward to. Shut up, Moritz man. You are everything that I hate in the world. You do not know what pain I have gone through. I do not understand how anybody can find that hair attractive. You jealous? No! You are the one who should be jealous, Moritz girl! Alright, everybody, settle down, settle down. You see here, no, you need to settle down, my friend. Yeah, how do you like it? This is my plot, not yours. You have done your job, and you will see your son soon enough because he will be joining you. Heck, dude, what the heck? You. I cannot wait to watch you shrivel up and die. You have ruined my life. everything my sweet Schlemendine. She was my world. We did everything together. When everything was perfect. 
We opened our own little air style shop and we would spend all day listening to music and cutting the hairs. That is until you came into the picture. Schlemmentine began talking about the new musician. You were everything to her. Your new album, Long Roads, Long Hair. That was all she listened to. She began talking about you more than us. Day in and day out I would hear everyone go na 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 and hey hey hey. I got sick of it. So I went to into where she listened to the music and I turned it off. She got mad and began yelling at me. So I told her that I just wanted a little bit more attention, but she kept yelling. So I killed her. She was gone. And you were still here. It is your fault that I lost her, and now you will pay for her loss. If you wouldn't have shown up, my life would have not been the hell that it is now. So, Wallet Man, prepare to watch everything you have fall into nothing and die shortly after. Goodbye, Wallet Man. I'm, I'm sorry about Clementine, dude, but it doesn't have to be like this. Oh, but it does. Welcome to the Baba Shop Snip Snip Shop. Two toes. <laughs> take my body, but all they could do was attach to where uh, mine had fallen off. Well, thank God, help me get out of this. Yeah, you know, Motto, what could drive a man so far? Love, Mullet Man. Love. <laughs>